Guys, right here is one of the most beautiful snakes you will ever see in your entire life. This is an absolute gem and a unicorn of the southeast. This is called the canebrake rattlesnake, Corylus horridus atricodatus. This is a, a threatened species in the state of Texas and is protected and there's a hefty fine for killing it. And I just praise God that I was able to rescue this girl. She was found in a suburban neighborhood just way too close to houses and that is usually the thing that gets them killed most commonly is people. People actually kill these gorgeous snakes just because it's a rattlesnake and that's the sad thing is it's just got such a bad rep but you can see she's not out to hurt anyone she's not even rattling she doesn't show any sign of distress she just is relying on her camouflage and that's the thing about cane breaks is they're pretty laid-back snakes it doesn't mean go mess with one but for God's sakes don't kill them because I mean the thing is if I got to grow up in this world and my kids don't get to see these beautiful reptiles I'm gonna be upset and I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that they survive and I would love to rescue these girls all the time but the sad fact is you don't see them very commonly. Um, they feed mostly on, on rabbits and rodents, and that's why I'm releasing her out here on this nature preserve because there's tons of those out here. So I pray that she does great. I pray that she lives on to produce a lot more baby cane breaks and hopefully help to be the future of these amazing reptiles here in the state of Texas. You can see their, their notable features is their black tail, and even their name Atricodotus means black tail. You can also see this yellow and orange ground color, and then they have these black tiger stripes going across them, or tiger bands. And uh, in my opinion, they have some of the best camouflage you will ever see in your entire life. They're virtually invisible whenever you put them in their natural terrain, like this grassland or good pine forest, they can practically disappear. And that's what makes them such effective predators. But the sad thing is, is it's not anything out in the wild that's getting them, it's us, we're getting them. And so, we're gonna let her go on her way. Hopefully she will grow on to attain huge lengths. They can get up to six feet in length. She's a good, maybe four or five foot specimen. You can see that, I'll try and stretch her out some. Okay, so look at the size of her. Absolutely huge canebrake rattlesnake, massive. They also have some of the strongest venom out of any of the rattlesnakes as well. Up to, or pretty much going over that of a Western Diamondback, which kills the most people in the state of Texas. When I say the most people, I mean maybe one or two people die a year from them. Um, these snakes have uh, predominantly hemotoxic venom, but some species have been known to have a highly neurotoxic peptide inside of them as well. They are just absolutely stunning to me. Absolutely stunning. So girl, I give you my blessing. I praise God for you and it was an honor to meet you. Guys, look at the shirt. Canebrake rattlesnake. Look at the snake. Cambrake rattlesnake. Nothing in this world will be able to capture their beauty like the snake itself. Nothing. I mean, these snakes are just absolutely stunning, okay? So we're gonna let her go because I just, I pray that she does great. I pray that she gets out of here and she does great things with her life. So bye, Cambrake.